falling to... Mango lost to who? To the Marth. I forgot his name. I'm such a terrible player, but it's oh, okay. I think I know who you're talking about, but yeah. the name escapes me as well. But either way, it's going to be Vivid versus Colorado. We're not playing Melee right now. This is Ultimate oh, yeah, this because is ultimate. we got a Toon Link and an Inkling on this screen. Yeah, you're not seeing these characters in Melee. I'm telling you that Heck much right no, now. no, you are not. Oh, and the back air already starts something off here for Colorado. Just going for the up air extension here. I love the down air on the stage. I don't know if you guys know, but on stage, Inkling down air has way less lag than off stage. I'm not quite sure why they made it like that, but it's a really good landing option. Almost like a reminiscent of like Ness down air. Right? Yeah. It's a good thing like you can call attention to these things that Inkling has, because a lot of people sleep on this character. This is definitely a character that has fallen out of the meta for sure. Nobody plays Inkling anymore, and I don't know why. It's still a solid character, despite the stubbiness that they may possess. It doesn't have like the greatest like options in the world, but they're not a bad character. No, yeah, for sure. And that's the thing about Smash Ultimate too. I don't think a lot of characters are truly terrible, right? Honestly, I mean I Inkling agree. may be like a good character, quote unquote, but may just be a little bit too difficult for some players. And the Smash is gonna take it there for Vivid Fakes the takes the first stock. Yeah, I mean it was unfortunate for Colorado there. They just swung the wrong direction with the forward smash and Vivid taking advantage of the situation with the up smash. But still, more percentage here. The high recovery to avoid the edge guard, smart option for Vivid. Dash attack comes through the trade there. Looking for a forward air, but the bomb just in time. Ooh. Those weak hit of back air is not going to be oh. And it sends Woo. the wrong direction. Yeah, and that's one of the moves that Inkling players absolutely despise, right? The splat bomb is very inconsistent in the way that it functions. Going to be sending the wrong way, saving Vivid from offstage. And now 175. You might even struggle to find a kill here. Oh, up tilt into up air there from Vivid. Looking for the bomb connection. Maybe Kama doing a forward air, find an early stock. But the back air finally from Colorado. And I think they had that stock more than once. It just <laughs> didn't work out. Yeah, it was definitely the rough part. I think that is the biggest issue with Inkling, right? That kill is difficult to find. Like, I think the biggest way to find kills. Oh, no. No tech on the bomb. Missed just tech. Cut me mid sentence, but yeah. that's rough. Right now, Vivid is absolutely dominating this game right now. I think we're seeing a lot more of that bomb usage that's really shutting down Colorado, right? Yep. And you talked about bomb usage, but he is just swinging right now. Doesn't even have a bomb in the hand. Absolutely Ooh. fighting here. The boomerang into the forward air. More damage and still pressing their advantage here, the aggression. But there we go, the up Ooh. throw. Looking for a nair to set him off stage, I think. Didn't elect for the up air in that situation. Still finds the falling up air. Not able to get too much else off it. And Colorado seems to be looking for answers here in the reverse. Oh. Boomerang into the up till up air. What a confirm there from Vivid. So smart. An early stock as well. I mean, 96 after the hit. Pretty close to the black blast zone there after the up tilt for Vivid. Does close that game one out pretty handedly. And the Toon Link's looking crispy. Looking at counter picks here. Checking that back of the badge. We got all the counter picks. Oh, yeah, I love that. That's my favorite thing. Shout out to EMG and Luminosity, man. Making it easy for us to find our stages. So smart. Love to have that. Fantastic stuff here. And I think Vivid. Feeling a little confident, like I said, has that uh, pretty good run at the Arcadian, and now trying to replicate that here. Yep, but definitely. Colorado really needs to find those answers, because I feel like in that match, we saw a lot of good moments, but nothing too uh, expressive there in the neutral. We saw a lot of grabs and stuff like that, but nothing to lead into explosive stocks, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I saw... A couple of good reads from Colorado. They had themselves in the correct positioning at the right timing in the right in the right situations. The problem is they couldn't find the connections they needed in those moments. So True. just need a little bit more precise execution. I mean, Toon Link is a small character. It can be hard to find those strong hits on sometimes, but we'll get some adaptation here on Smashville, see what Colorado can do. Double dash tech there, able to get a little bit more percent and a good catch on the jump. Already starts off Vivid in a great position on Smashville, no less. Interesting stage here. Good tech chases here, double back air, looking for a third. Colorado can't find that third one, unfortunately. Ooh. There's an up B, sending Colorado to this right side. The boomerang set up the bomb as well. So much coverage from Vivid. That was very intelligent. So good there. Trying to get the jab, Colorado just not able to find anything. They've been really taking full control of the stage, but on stage like Smashville, maybe a little bit difficult. The up he sends off stage here, Colorado. Trying to make it back. Finds the jump away. Here we go. You got to be careful on the out of shield game from Toon Link as well. We've seen that up more than once from Vivid in this game too. Ooh. Oh my goodness, the bomb into the up air, the setup. Anywhere on stage, you are not safe from the confirms from Vivid. Not safe. Vivid is so locked in right now. Oh. Able to get the trade with the bomb, not dying to the forwarder just yet in the back air. Might seal it. Yes. Yeah, that's going to do it. 
Nice recycling of the situation from Colorado. Finding a couple of back airs. Find that stock. There's the dash attack looking for a nair. Didn't find it though. And now we just need a big combo starter here, especially for Colorado. You want to get yourself back into the set. The trades are looking rough right now, and I think a big part of this matchup from what I'm seeing right now is that sword, right? Mm -hmm. Inkling trying to find those hits, but with those stubby neutral like tools, I think Toon Link's sword just barely finds those wins. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a short sword as well, and you can see it's even a factor against Inkling because of that stubbiness like you mentioned. It still is a poke option for Vivid, regardless of how small it is. And, you know, it's not about the size, it's about how you use it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> definitely not the first time I've heard that, but <laughs> the Phantom Footstool to get out of that scramble situation was so smart from Vivid. Paid dividends, and now you're in a position where you're in control of the neutral here. The bomb not going to connect again. The F-Tilt out of the dash back. Good situation here for Colorado. Might be able to find a stock on this ledge trap here. Not able to get the splat bomb and just nothing right now. Oh, that up air almost connecting after the bomb throw as well. There's an up, th uh, up throw for some damage here for Colorado. We still are pretty even here. It's just whoever takes this next stock is going to have a big momentum swing. Oh. And unfortunately, the up smash not connecting on that sweet hitbox that Colorado needed. And we've seen this happen a couple times now, Archmage. Oh, but, but there not it that is. Time. Good scoop, though. I mean, that was the perfect use there, right, where that shield push might have been bad for some characters, but Inkling able to get that up smash in a very, very important moment. Yep. Oh, and the rapid jab is going to rack up some damage, and that's the ink part of Inkling that really starts to be scary, right? That backer just did almost 20%, I believe. And also, that's one thing we haven't seen that much of so far, Archmage, is the ink. And that is something that can be the defining factor in the amount of damage you do, and plenty of Woo! edge guarding here for Colorado. I can't talk about the ink, because we've got to talk about that down air. He dunked him. So confident there. I love that. And I think the real big part about that was the stage, right? I mean, that, like, small single platform area to play in really benefits Inkling because you find a lot of those openings easier, and especially against a character like Toon Link who's kind of throwing projectiles at you all the time. But yep. Solid adaptation there for Colorado, oh, oh though. No. We let We let Toon Link go to Town and City? Oh. I don't Not know the if TNC. I like that one. Yeah, that's... Not the TNC, baby. Okay, here we go. Toon Link was born and raised on that stage. Yeah, apparently. That's it the is, home field. This is honestly a notorious stage for any sortie, regardless how, of how small. We'll see what Vivid can do on this situation on their counter pick. Colorado must not think it's a big deal if they are allowing this stage to go through. This is true. I mean, I can also see aspects of where maybe Inkling likes this stage as well, right? Those back air trains maybe killing off the side a little earlier, maybe even just a forward air. But I don't know, man. Toon Link loves this stage. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard it's notorious, so. It can definitely be notorious here. Very early kills off the side. A lot of Toon Link's skill options can be found off the side in that up B, in that forward air that we see so often. Even the back throw can come through on the stage with the low side blast zones. There's an up throw looking for an up air. So far, Vivid getting the better of Colorado. See a lot of those uppies out of shield really working out for Vivid. The bomb in hand, try to get the Z drop with the dash attack for Colorado now. A little bit more in control. Mm -hmm. Not able to find any grabs or anything. Bomb play, back and forth, catching each other's tosses here. The neutral B comes through, and there's a the tech chase. I like that charge from uh, Colorado. The only situation he could have gotten out of that is if he teched away. So it was good coverage from Colorado. Now they're not going to get anything from Vivid here, and the bomb's going to get tossed away. The back air catches the get up attack. Okay, the edge guard as well. Spot, yeah. Good Solid stuff. stuff. We just did the exact same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're in sync. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. That's how you know it was good stuff. Yeah, I'm syncing up that uh, rapid jab and the splat bomb. Uh, Colorado Ooh. is beginning to put some ink onto Vivid here. A, a chance to rack up some damage, but there's the grab. Uh, but the boomerang saving him just in time. We're going to find it again. Gets the up throw up or more damage here. Colorado's catching up jumping as well. Ah, oh, there it is. Catch yeah, the tough. roll in. Definitely wanted to find a grab there, but getting punished. And now even up the stock, still pretty good percent here for Colorado. And I think that's the biggest, like, inkling buff, right? I mean, we're seeing so much damage and the lead being gapping, but LP is going to get punished. No, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, not close enough to find that up smash on the up B from Vivid. Colorado, though, still playing with a the lead. There's a back air once again. The grab was oh. actually turned the wrong way. The down air into the up air, throwing out that slap bomber to cover center stage. I like that stage control from Colorado. Pressuring with the projectile that they have. Looking for an edge guard, but we'll return Woo! to stage as Vivid recoveries have been very good so far. That Phantom was so good there. Used 
the inkling of B to try to find a way back in the air. Going to get caught again. These ledge timings have been caught time and time again. Colorado is just so ready for that. Yeah, you see the adaptation coming through from Colorado as well. There's an up throw into the up air. Once again, we're going to see more damage here. The Nair to get some extra extended damage with a double Nair. Flat, flat bomb coming through so you can't land on stage. The pressure from Colorado is very, very excellent. Yeah, these trades have really been working out for Colorado this game. I, I think, uh, oh, but the bomb forward air shuts me up real quick. And now it's an even stock. Okay, that's going to be a big punish here. No. Oh, no, gets caught by the last hit. Almost gets caught by that back air too, but good tech there. I think maybe he tried to parry it instead. There's the forward throw. The flat bomber comes through. Don't go low. This is my <laughs> stage to play with Colorado. The back air catching just barely on the ledge. The forward tilt coming through. Recycling the situation once again. And uh -oh. A little bit too deep that time around. Oh, no. Still alive though, takes the bomb away. Boomerang coming back, watch out, rolling in. Good stuff for Colorado to get out of there. Yeah, the back airs are looking deadly right now. Colorado's feeling confident, feeling oh. good, and the smash is clean. Yes, sir. That's 2-1, and on town, 2 I'm shocked. Will we go back to town though is the question because I did see uh I see a little. Okay, yeah, little we're gonna go back. back movement. A little run back there from Vivid Colorado. Very, very solid now that they found their footing. They found oh. their stride. We're not running it back, though. Well, maybe it was same bands. The oh, yeah, there. maybe it was same bands. Same Could bands. have been, yeah. You, we got to get a different symbol. Yeah, we got a different symbol. <laughs> <laughs> we need two at least. Miscommunication. Or are we going back? Or are we going back? Just thinking about we it. We are going yeah, back. Yeah, we're going back. We're going back. Yeah. I like it. It's a good stage. It is a good stage. I like, I like Town City. I think it's... A, a fun stage to play on and to watch because of how it changes. You know, it can go from FD, it can go from a Smashville type stage, it can go to a Kalos type stage with those side platforms on each side. Uh, we'll see uh, if Vivid can make it work here on their stage choice. Colorado looking confident, feeling good. Getting a game number four. Yeah, I feel like the real killer in that last game was those trades, bro. I think Vivid had started the game off pretty well with those uppies out of shield, but then the trades started to come out with all those aerials, and it just kind of ran away from them. But mm -hmm. Vivid's feeling good right now. Yep, Looks small pressure here from Vivid. Neutral B connecting, bomb in hand, throws it up. Boomerang's coming back, and so is the bomb. <laughs> that is a checkmate situation yeah. if you wrap a jab. That's true. Oh, wow, scary situation there for Colorado, but going low, grabbing onto that ledge, playing patient. Good disadvantage, because you're still alive, and not all that matters, but the bomb forward air whiffs. Yeah, I love these bombs coming out from Vivid right now. He's selecting to just throw them up, and they are coming down at the weirdest time. Speaking of up, up you go with that up air from Vivid. Taking this first stock with only 16% to their names. Ooh, and even more damage oh, here. The edge go. Wow, what a confirm. 52 that. already. That was such an optimal punish as well. The up tilt, the, the F tilt into the fair, into the up B. So clean from Vivid, giving these optimal combos, some optimal damage here. Colorado's going to have to make this back. Wants to put some ink here, but can't. Oh, no, 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 can't find the ink, but can find some connections here. Very fast play Ooh. from Vivid. Now edge guard. Yeah, those backers have been pretty deadly there for, for Colorado. I think they've been really working out. A lot of those trades have come with the back air, but still a pretty big deficit oh. here. Bomb in hand, able to get the upper, but not the kill. Not on a stage like this. A little bit too tall of a blast zone. And again, the top blast zone coming in clutch. Yeah, but even if he didn't find that kill, it's still damage. It still has an entire extra stock to play with. The smoke screen. From the bomb actually covering the disadvantage from Vivid. And the bomb play once again, Woo! it is just everywhere. You can't avoid it. And there's the wow. up B in the reversal. Will find himself in a three stock to one, uh, one lead. Vivid, solid. That was great stuff. And I think a lot of Toon Links would opt to go for back throw there. But Vivid just so ready and so comfortable with a character like this oh. that opts for the perfect option there. Yeah. I think we might see a game five in our future if Vivid can maintain this lead. Three whole stocks, still the bomb, to the up tilt, the delayed hitbox of that up air, finding his mark. Don't hit my shield because I got an up B. Here's the bomb going in the air once again, but finally, Colorado will find that first stock from Vivid. Yeah, looking good, but right now the up tilts are coming out, catching a lot of these jumps. I think Vivid is starting to lock on that Colorado really loves to shore hop in neutral, right? A lot of Inkling's best moves comes from the air, but right now the up throw combo looking clean. Get the back here there. Okay, the movement here from Colorado. Is oh, the positioning, but the up B is enough. We dipped a little bit too close to that blast zone. It was a little bit scary. Now Colorado has to get down. The bomb connects. The up air does not. Ooh. Air dodging back through, and there's the rapid jab once again. That's more damage. Well, can we find the stock? Yes, yes we, can. we can. Puts the boots on him. Is this a reverse sweep? I would be in shock if that was the case. Already 115 on Colorado. Gets hit by the bomb. Only needs one more for that forward air combo. 
Zaire, bomb in hand, tossing it away. The up smash, give it away. There's an up air after the up throw for Colorado. The back air, the rapid jab, it's more damage. The bomb goes up in the air. We're going to pick it up. We're going to throw it, but still, advantage here. The roller comes through. It's not going to be enough. However, Vivid trying to get their footing. They do find their footing. They do find the confirm, and they do find a game five situation. Vivid thanking God there in the player cam. Just so <laughs> happy to be able to force a game five here. And that's a tense situation, right? But now we have to understand Colorado has the counter pick. And the stages have been important in this set. So if it has been anything like the past, Colorado might take this, but Vivid's not going to let it go easily. All smiles. <laughs> All smiles and the excitement of battle here. Vivid getting ready to lock in for game five. Colorado thinking about their choices here, thinking about what they can do to give themselves an advantage in game five. Characters will be locked in. We might be going back. First game five of the pool. We'd love to see it. And we are going back indeed. First game five of the pool. And we're excited because the last one was exciting to see. It was even last stock. Even though Colorado was down, I think it was three stocks to one. Still almost got the reverse three stock. Yep. It was definitely possible. Colorado making this very competitive. Back here to dash attack for 20%. There's the Nair to the F tilt. <gasps> Whoa, and oh. the forward air into the grab is such a big combo oh, here for Colorado. Continues the advantage, but didn't catch the jump. Yep, just back and forth. Both players finding some early combos in the percentages right now. 67 here on to Vivid. The dash attack once again. That's Flat Bomber going to the wayside. There's a gentleman jab. We haven't seen that yet. Oh. That was, was that down tilt yeah. that caught him coming with the upbeat? That down tilt was massive there. Really good awareness of those options. The dash attack's going to cross up, but Vivid gets the back air. The trade with the F tilt. Leaves Colorado trying to jump back onto the stage, but the up tilt's not going to connect. Rolls away from the jab or the uh, the grab. Oh, he rolled oh, and out you're as scared. well. The back air almost connecting from Colorado up tilt into up air here. More damage, bomb in hand once again, Woo! finding that uh, roller from Colorado, and now the bomb gets tossed up with a reversal situation. The back air edge guard once again. We don't have to tech that. Good, very smart. Oh! But he does have to tech that no! one though. I thought the F tilt was going to be good, but Vivi not able to find the stock off that Z drop bomb. And now the backers are coming out. The aerials from this inkling to try to find a kill here. Catches the jump with the back air. And now the Ford is going to miss. Oh. Another Z drop for oh. the back air is not going to kill either. Vivid is still holding on to this stock. Oh, but not going to be holding on for that F chill. Gets swatted away. The back air, though, from Colorado looking to find this kill before it's too late. But here comes the bomb once again. The dash attack. Vivid racking up more and more damage. The roller, that's a punish. Wow, I think Colorado getting a little impatient here. We hadn't seen Roller this entire set except for that last game. And now we're seeing it again, but still getting punished here. 48% on Colorado, still in a comfortable position here. If you could just find this stock, this game is closer than it has to be. Yeah. Oh, and the Forder's not going to kill, and that's the issue with Inkling, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this character, going? it's yep. so scary. Yep, the issue is in this current moment, but not going to be for long because that forward air comes through from Colorado, securing that stock and only 66%, but Vivid has been playing a lot more zoner heavy in this game especially. You see a lot more boomerangs, a lot more bombs, but here come the connections for Colorado. That's the classic, the double back air. Another jab gets some more percent. Has the ink on Vivid as well. Whoa, the confirm again. We've been seeing those time and time again. The bomb's so huge. And the up tilt up here steals it. And now Colorado on the last stock in this game five. Yep, Colorado reeling just a little bit. Here comes the rapid jab. Some more damage here. Has to find the stock onto Vivid. We do have an edge guard situation going on. The platform helping out Vivid to return. You see him holding that platform with the bomb. There's the up throw, the up air. Not going to connect. And even trying to catch the roller with the frame trap. Woo! Didn't find it. Wow, and a great confirm. They're already 41% on this last stock. Vivid just needs to hold on as much as possible here, but the confirms are looking good. Mm -hmm. There's an upbeat. That should be a punish. Yep. Yes. That's going to kill, and now we're seeing a last stock situation here. It's only 61% as well. The platforms have now returned to normal. Can we see a big comeback here from Colorado? Gets it started off with the rapid jab. Boomerang comes out. There's the forward air. Going to pull a bomb. Throws it up. The F Ooh. tilt. Bad situation to be in if you're Colorado. Yeah, definitely. You're happy to see that if you're vivid. Every time you hit a forward air, it's just a little bit more of that mental damage, even if it's not going to kill, even uh -oh. if it's not in a great position. Yep. Gets the grab, though. 
No Not going to combo. That didn't combo. The bomb in hand once again. Be careful. The Nair actually catching the bomb from Vivid. Back to neutral. There's a confirm, though. That's a bomb into forward. Oh. It's not enough, though. Edge guard situation now. Throws the bomb away. Bomb once again in the air. The boomerang comes through, but nothing is connecting for Vivid in this current moment. Colorado gets out. So many things here from Toon Link can kill. Just need to be patient. Need to find the option. The Z-Drop not going to get the up air. And now the backers are coming out for Colorado oh. in the mix with the forward air. Vivid takes it. Game five in such a tense set. Yep. Vivid popping off just a little bit. A sigh of relief <laughs> there from Vivid. I love the the uh, the um, emotion that they have. They're very, yeah. very charismatic on camera. You see the smile. They're breathing that sigh of relief. Very very happy and relieved that they were able to take that set in Game 5 fashion. I believe that was our first Game 5 of the pool so far. It so was. Good stuff to Vivid for clutching it out.